Assalamualaikum and greetings everyone. Welcome to my final year project presentation. I am Karuna Imbi Ahmad Murad, a final year student in Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering. The title of my FYP is The Effect of the Different Shape of Hole on the Crushing Characteristic of Aluminium Circular Window Tubes Under Dynamic Axial Loading and supervised by my lecturer Sir Hafizi Ben Luqman. First, let's begin with introduction. Did you know about thin wall tube? Thin wall tube is one of energy absorption device. It has low initial peak force and high energy absorption rate on axial and oblique loading scenarios. Frequently, this tube was installed on car chassis and been applied on crumpled zone. This tube is popular on vehicle manufacturing sector. This because it was easy to fabricate and have a good crashing performance. The cross section that typically been used is circular and square type. On this study, the new design of thin wall tube was purposed to enhance the performance of crushworthiness and energy absorption of the tube. Okay, next, we move to the literature review. Many previous study has been researched related to the thin wall tube topics. Most of them use a different parameter in order to achieve a good crushing performance of the tube. G. Song et al. use pattern tube and find out that pattern tube have smaller initial peaks and more uniform crushing rates than regular tube. While Hosinepio et al. use groove pattern on tube. The result came out that the groove have the potential to maintain deformation behavior, making it suitable choice for a controlled energy absorption element. Next, the various shape of tube has been studied by Ali et al. and find that circular tube has been discovered to be more effective absorbers than other polygonal tubes. Last parameter is hole or window on tube. This method has been used by Hamid et al. The result from this study is the initial peak of window tube is lesser than the basic tube and rectangular window are by far the most effective in lowering the yearly peak. From these studies, the parameter for this research has been set out to use a rectangular and circle window pattern on circular type of tube due to its performance on handling the crash. So, we move to the problem statement. There are three phases when thin wall tube are undergoes with the crushing process. The detail of the phases can be seen on the slide. The problem comes during the phase 1 and 2 on the crushing process. On the phase 1, high initial peak force will result in the huge deceleration and cause the higher risk of damage or human fatalities. While crushing process in the second phase need to be extended and consistent in order to get an optimum energy absorption. The objective of the study is to analyze the initial peak of different shape windows tube when undergoes to the crushing process on experiment and simulation. Second, to identify the specific energy absorption of different shape windows tube throughout experiment and simulation. Lastly, to determine the best crushing performance of window shape on the thin wall tube. The study will have several limitations due to the lack of instrument and equipment to deeply research on this topic. The limitations on this study are The research will completely focus on circular thin wall tube. The result and data are applicable for this type of tube only. There are two types of shape for windows tube which is circular and rectangle shape. This because the usage of CNC machine is limited for students to use due to the procedure for the lab session during this pandemic era. For methodology, there are two methods that being used to get the result for this study. First is finite element analysis. Abacus software version 6.14 is used to conduct the simulation for all the specimen. Then, the tube are being tested by applying impact to it. The result of the simulation will be recorded to compare with the experimental result. For the second method, we will use experiment. The experiment for the study will be using the quasi-static compressive loading machine. 
This machine will apply the quasi-static load to specimen by hydraulic press. All the data and result will fully record automatically by computer that connect with this machine. So, here is my research planning for the whole FYP. For FYP1, I only did until the selection of design for circular thin wall tube. Then, the research is continued on FYP2 including the testing process until the best design of tube is determined. Next, we move to the expected result. A simulation for a basic thin wall tube has been made. A result from the simulation has been set as a crushing performance benchmark for other design of Windows tube. Here is the dimension and input data for tube that been tested. Aluminium alloy or known as AL6063 is choose as a material for this tube. Okay, this is the graph that been taken from the result simulation of basic tube. As you can see, the initial peak force for this simulation is 16.14 kN. The pattern of collapse mode also can be seen on the next figure. So, for the result, the study expected the new pattern of thin wall tube will have a lower initial peak compared to regular tube. Next, the graph of the compressive load against replacement will slightly have a smooth curve after the initial peak phase that indicate the improvement on energy adoption rate. Lastly, some slightly difference on the result for the experimental and simulation has also been predicted due to the material will be used in real life is not same as input data that have been put on the simulation such as yield strength. So that's all for my final year project proposal presentation and thank you for listening. If you have any concern or question, please reach me through my email or phone estate in the presentation. Thank you.